Hello. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, I would like to start making videos ideally weekly. Obviously sometimes things crop up and that's not going to be possible. Like I've kind of found that a little bit today. Now obviously uh, this will still be sticking within my time frame of wanting to do one weekly, but you can't plan for everything. So unfortunately my mother has, um, it's nothing major at the moment, but it's just a hernia at the moment. So um, she's gone into A&E today and they plan to have her in surgery. They're going to keep her overnight and plan to have her in surgery tomorrow. Obviously, but I don't plan for these things. They just kind of happen. So um, I've wanted to make a video for the last couple of days, but she's not been quite right. So I've not been feeling quite up to it. And also I've just got a bit of time off work now for holiday, which I had to take. Otherwise I'll lose it. So um, I'm on holiday until Monday. So obviously today's Monday. So I've got a week today until I go back. So I'm on quite a few Facebook surrogacy groups, which is actually incredible. I find so much information out and follow so many other people's journeys. It's just fantastic. So it's really, really great to follow people and see how they're getting on because obviously I'm so new to this as well. Uh, like I've mentioned before, I'm not the voice of authority on surrogacy, far from it. I'm just as new as most other people. The only difference is I've picked up my phone and started recording myself. Um, I'm trying to think some of the other things I wanted to talk about. Um, hmm. Oh my God. I just realised I made a cup of tea like 20 minutes ago and the tea bag's still in there. It's going to be quite strong. I'm going to go and get it. Two seconds. And you'll see some fantastic videos from YouTubers about what it's like to be a surrogate, the process, um, once you've once you've had the baby and handed out, all those fascinating things to watch, which are so great for me to watch as well, because I want to know how they felt. And I suppose it's the same, really. They want to know how we feel. And this is really a personal video and a personal diary um, of our entire journey, you know, from within my home. And you'll be able to see us hopefully in the car on the way to uh, the labour and all those all those magical moments and all the bits leading up to it and even the um, you know days of insemination and the emotions and the feelings behind that and I, I expect it'll be draining but it'll be so rewarding and it'll be worth it. We've got our plan of action now in terms of our plan for um, what days we're going to do and the inseminations on obviously around the ovulation so hopefully and again I learned that from by the way sorry to sidetrack but I learned that from Facebook groups so reading surrogates when their best time was that they have done in the past, the insems on their ovulations and the distance between and on what days, that's really helped me. It's not just somewhere where you go and update your Facebook status or check on a few things. I've asked some really tough questions and I've learned a lot of incredibly useful things. So do add yourself, especially to um, all the surrogacy related Facebook groups and hopefully one day my group, with your help, can grow and become a place of information and support as well for everyone. Again, not just in the UK, even though it says it in the name, but people, sorry, people doing surrogacy all over, all over. So hopefully it can be, it can be kind of that resource for everyone. Um, sorry, more tea. Um, Again, I get such weird looks because I've got this huge window. I live in an, um, a Victorian, so it's all really high ceilings and these huge bay windows looking out onto the seafront. And um, everyone who like takes their kids across, like there's some people down there now sitting on um, like near the beach with their child who's having a tantrum <laughs> and they're like kind of waiting it out. They're just sitting there until he just gets over it and moves on. <laughs> Um, she's like sitting on the bench looking at me like, what is she doing? Probably thinks I'm recording them. Um, I'm not. I'm drinking my cup of tea and looking at myself. Thank you very much. I've got very sleepy doggies today. But I'll show you them. This is Milo.
and this is Millie. Millie hates looking at herself on the camera. I know it's a really bizarre thing to like kind of mention, but if I show her herself on my iPhone, like take, like recording her, she runs away really scared with the tail between her legs. Then I feel like I've really hurt her feelings. So I have to go and say sorry and give her a gravy bone. Poor little sausage. So I've got two very sleepy doggies today, like I did in the last video. They're only like this because again I've been at my mum's because I had to take her to hospital as my dad's away. So I took her to hospital and I've been with her all morning. Um, so they've been at my mum's having a real good run around. So it's been really lovely for them. But they're very tired now. Oh, new clip. Boom. This clip right here. I hate doing all this editing, by the way. It seems really choppy and changey. But I've got like a really bizarre brain and things just like clicking all the time. So, yeah, I'm going to look like such a freak. Oh, well. Anyway, so recently I have ordered a Casato um, pram or travel system from mother care now i went in store seen i walked past the window i wasn't planning on buying it because we've not even started the inseminations yet i know it's crazy but originally i seen the pram that we loved in john lewis and we tried it out there had a little walk around with it like you do like a freak and really seen if it was sturdy and good and we really 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 liked it and because it's a travel system it's perfect for us so anyway this was before we even thought about surrogacy so we've liked this pram for a very long time and anyway we were walking past mother care the other day in chichester and i and chris noticed sorry in the window it was on offer and we looked at it and it was reduced to 320 pounds which is like ridiculously cheap and with a free car seat now the car seat's worth i think 120 pounds on its own as well as the discount of 420 it was 420 reduced to 320 plus the 120 you save on the car seat so i was like oh my god chris was like i know this is ridiculous but we have to buy that pram we will never see it that cheap ever again so i was like fine so anyway we bought it which i was so happy about and we were going to have it delivered to our home because they didn't have one in store anyway and also the car seat had to be sent separately so we bought it and then they are then they sent it to us the next no a couple of days later so it's really good really quick however the car seat didn't come with it so i rung them up a few days later i thought i'd give it a little while and they said oh sorry this morning this was i phoned them they said oh sorry um we've discontinued it and the new seats will not fit onto your buggy because i ordered the what was it called the Casato treat and it's a really nice design it's so bright and vibrant and positive it's so beautiful and i thought it's really lovely for the baby to look at look up to and just see like really nice colors um so i was so happy and then they're going to tell me that there's no car seat which is for some people might be okay but we've got a car and we're it's probably going to be in the car seat for the vast majority of the time so that's like probably one of the most essential parts for us so the fact it wasn't compatible then with the chassis of the pram i was like oh for god's sake so they offered me a upgrade well they've called apparently well it is an upgrade apparently um to the 2014 version called i, can't, I think it was called ochre and it so it's the new version i'm not as in love with the design as I was with the last one. At the moment I find I, I'm telling everybody that we're going into surrogacy. Um, e literally everyone. So I've been around so many baby shops today and John Lewis and Mothercare and even the girl on the phone and everyone's so happy. And it's, it's so lovely because I suppose it's kind of bizarre for them. I don't think they come across it that often. And maybe people aren't quite as open as I am but I literally tell everyone because I do like to gauge reactions as well to see what people's general opinions are and so far i've had nothing but just complete positivity and happiness on everyone every person i've told not one of them has even for a split second had that look on their face something you know they've all been so lovely and supportive and that's really lovely to to be a part of i suppose and not actually have any prejudice against us 
but in this part of the country I don't think that's a problem anyway. West Sussex is a really lovely place to live and I really enjoy it anyway. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the new pram. I went in John Lewis again, you know, had a bit of a play around with it, seen what it was actually like and it's just as good, um, if not, I suppose, technically better than the old version. Um, it's just the design that I'm not quite as fond of, but anyway, I can get over that. At least we'll get in the car seat and then I've just got to buy the ISOFIX kind of thing it slots onto. Um, apart from that, that bit's done, which is, I know, a bit ridiculous, but considering we're not even started disseminations yet. I'm meeting our surrogate. Not I'm, sorry. We're meeting our surrogate this Wednesday. Today's Monday. So in two days. Sorry, just a tea. Um, in two days. And we're going to go for a nice meal again like we did last time. Same place because it was just exquisite. I absolutely loved it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. And I've got her daughter, another teddy bear, because I thought it'd be a nice little thing. Her daughter's so sweet, so lovely. And she's only six years old. She's told her mummy she's not allowed to have another baby, but she can have another baby for somebody else, which I thought was so sweet. And um, one of the things to kind of, I suppose, reward her very, very mature behaviour and very sweet behaviour too, is I just take down a different teddy every time. So this time I've got her a very cute little me to you bear and it's got like a little rabbit onesie costume. It's adorable. And uh, so she absolutely loves teddies and she names them all. In fact, the last teddy I brought her when we were down there, she named it instantly. She like knew the name already for it and it was so sweet. So um, I hope she likes this one too. So I'm really looking forward to meeting them again. Um, again, I will let you know exactly how everything goes on all of our meets, just so you can kind of get an idea of how it feels from the IP's perspective. If I've got time and I'm not rushing around, I'm not usually rushing around because I'm very organised. I usually, last time, I'm usually always early. So last time I went to go meet them, I was actually, I say I'm sorry, I mean we, last time we went to meet them, I, we were, oh my God, I'm awful. We were about an hour and a half early and I had to park down the road from her because I didn't want to look like a freak. And I literally pulled up at a bus stop and just sat there for about an hour and a half listening to God knows what radio station. It was awful. I was like praying that she wouldn't walk past me because she was coming back from work. And just like see us there, I'm like stalking her out. So luckily she didn't see me, but now she's gonna know because she's gonna watch this. And I'm gonna look like an absolute freak. This time I'm not going to be as early. I think, well I hope anyway. I'm gonna leave a little bit later because it didn't take me as long to get there as I thought it would. Anyway, so that was just a quick update on what's going on on our end and all the bits and bobs at the moment. So to summarise, on holiday, trying to do videos, meet and surrogate in two days, very selfish and always say I instead of we. And yes, that's it really, to summarise the video. So if you want, you can just watch those three seconds and you won't actually have to watch anything else. There's an idea. Again, as I keep reminding you, please, 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 please subscribe. It really means so much to me. It really, really, really drives me and makes me want to kind of carry on because um, then I know it's really helping people. Or even if it's not helping people, at least a little bit fascinating to watch the weird person just ramble on about crap. No battery. Go away. Sorry, my phone's just saying, you've got 20% battery left, it's going to die. Quick, hurry up, in your video now. Oh, there's a dead, dead fly on my window. See, I'll put in a little, a little boat and send it out to sea. Definitely too much time. Okay, I'm going to go now because I'm even annoying myself. I don't know what to talk about. I'm trying to be fascinating and mysterious. I'm not trying to be fascinating or mysterious. I don't even know why I said that. That's awful. That's how bad it's getting. I need to leave and shut up. So that is what I shall do. Thank you for watching. Bye.